So for many of us who are using Instagram to promote our business, it's a little annoying that Instagram only allows us to promote one website link at a time in our bio like this, which is why you see people creating bio link websites. Usually these can be created using a tool like Linktree, Shortbee, or lnk.bio. And while all of them do offer some type of free version of their tool, they do always try to upsell you just to take or remove their branding off of the website. Which is why in this video, I'm gonna share with you a really quick and easy way that you can create your own customized bio link website for free without having to use a tool like Linktree, Shortbee, or anything else out there that may ask you to upgrade to a monthly paid plan. Hi y'all, I'm Vivian Walton, the Season Marketer, and I share marketing tips, tools, and tactics with resourceful business owners. If you're new here, every Monday I release a new marketing video, so if that's something that you wanna stay up to date and current with, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now or follow me on any one of my other social media accounts. Let's start by talking about the items that you're going to need in order to create your own BioLink website. There are only three. Canva account. Now, Canva is free, and for this tutorial, you can 100% use the free account. Everything I'm doing on here, um, you have capability to do under the free account. If you are interested, though, in upgrading to the Canva Pro, I have a link below that you can use to get Canva Pro for free for the next 30 days. So that's always an option for you as well. The button categories that you'll want to include for your buttons, my recommendation is to have five button categories max. For example, I decided that I want my five button categories to be new marketing video. This will take them to my latest YouTube video. Sign up for my weekly emails. This will take them to my email opt-in page. Visit my website. This will take them to my website. View entire video library. This will take them to the video library on my website and shop my merch. This will take them to the merch shop that I just made on Spreadshop. The web links that you want each button to go to. All right, so I'm gonna tap into my laptop right now so that I can show you step-by-step -step how to create your own customized bio link website. Okay, so to start off with, we're gonna to go to canva.com. You'll have to have a account ready. I've already logged into mine. Up here in the search bar, I'm going to type in bio. And if you notice, bio link website is the first option. So we're going to select that. The one thing I love about Canva is it has the dimensions preloaded so that we don't have to worry about getting those dimensions just right. And if you scroll down here, you'll see that they have a plethora of different templates that we can use. So as you go through here, remember you can customize any of these templates, change out the photos, you can change out the text. So what I'm gonna do is come back up here and I'm gonna keep mine real simple. And I'm gonna select this one right here. Now I don't plan to keep any of that pink, but it's a good template for me to start with. I'm gonna delete these right here because I don't want those graphics on there and I'm going to change this pink to my brand colors. So I'm going to play around with this. I thought that blue was a little too bright. Change these spheres out. That looks a little muted so I'm not sure that I want to keep it that way so I'm going to brighten these up and I think I still am not 100% crazy about these. So I may just go ahead and delete them. For the next part, I'm going to come over here to my upload media section, and I'm gonna upload an image that I have of myself and replace the image that the template came with. I'm gonna size it and get it just right centered in here. And now I'm going to switch out the uh, Instagram tag name. So I'm going to put, or Instagram handle, sorry, at the season marketer. And now for the fun part, I'm going to come through here and change the coloring on these 
text. Now these are gonna be the buttons that people click on in order to get to the web pages that I link it to. So slowly just coming through here and changing all of these colors. Now I'm going to change the colors of the actual button. I'm gonna alternate between a dark blue and that teal color right there. Hopefully that'll make it stand out a little more. Now that that's complete, I'm looking at this image and I really don't care for it. So I'm gonna go back to my uploads button and upload a different image that I have that I can use. And I'm gonna see if maybe this one looks a little better. The background on that image um, has a little more of a graphic element to it, which I really like. Now, going back to the buttons, I'm coming through here and changing the text on these to reflect those five categories that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you'll remember, the five categories that I selected were new marketing video, sign up for my weekly emails, visit my website, view entire video library, and shop my merch. So I'm just gonna speed through here because you don't need to see me going step by step through this, but I'm going to change out the text for every single one of these buttons. I love being able to customize this because now that I'm looking at the buttons together, I notice that the text, the white text, gets washed out with that teal. So I'm just going to go in and change that to a dark, blue um, color and I think that looks much much better. Moving on the next step is to actually link the button. So this is where having your web links set aside comes in handy because all you have to do is go and click on the text, select this button right here which is um, the link button and there copy and paste the link that you want to put on there. So for me, the first one's going to be my YouTube link and I'm just going to get that shareable link right here and then insert it back into this area. Hit apply. And then from here, I'm going to do the same thing for all four of the buttons that are left. Now, um, I'm not gonna show you every single step that I go through on this. You can just, I'll fast forward through it, but you get the point. Every single one of your buttons has to include a link in order for it to properly link over to the web page that you want it to. So I'm gonna speed through here and get that done. And we'll skip ahead to the next step. If you're finding this tutorial helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. Okay, as I'm wrapping up linking this last button, I want to go in and clarify something that extra that I did. So obviously I linked the text to whatever link I wanted um, the people to go to, but I am also going to come in and do that for the buttons because you know some people do not click on the actual text, they'll just click on the button itself. So I'm going through and for each button I went through and added that link as well just to cover my bases. All right, so now we have just a couple of steps left. Now that everything is complete, we're gonna come up here and do publish as website it will give you a few options. Choose the presentation style because um, this is supposed to be a responsive website, which means that it will change the way it looks depending on if you're looking at it on mobile or on desktop. So we're gonna select open website. This right here is the link that it has supplied us with. If you like this video, remember that every Monday I release a video just like this that could help you save time and money when it comes to marketing your business. Don't forget that I have a website at www.thisseasonmarketer.com where I have a couple of freebies waiting for you, so go check that out. Thanks again for tuning into another Monday Marketing Minute. I'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.